Hours after a storm blew off the roof of her parents' house and partially damaging the walls and ceiling, Dahafa Chihuku is now using the aid of crutches to get by. We were outside around 8. The strong winds came and we ran into the house. The bricks fell on me and I got injured. The victim's mother, Berseba Zemburuka, also added to the narration of the harrowing experience. We were at home. I had just come from work. The kids had been sitting out when the wind started. We all then went inside the house. We noticed one of our children, aged two years old, was asleep in the other room. Dahafa screamed, where is the child? She then ran to the bedroom to grab the toddler, but immediately after picking up the child, the house wall started cracking and bricks fell onto Dahafa. Charlie Matengu, Sinorets Head of Communications, says damage caused to electrical poles is estimated over $200,000, but he is however pleased there is progress to fully restore the town's electricity. Uh, in terms of the, the cost estimate, we are currently running into right about 250 or so. Uh, the thing is that uh, as we replace, we discover new poles that are actually broken. So we will continue with the exercise, the team will continue, tomorrow we continue again, but so far the progress is very well. We have covered more than 40% in terms of uh, restoration. Uh, we, we just want to appeal to the residents to uh, treat electricity like as if it's on in terms of uh, the areas that are not yet uh, energized uh, because uh, there will be no notice that electricity is coming back. Some classroom blocks at the Okakarara Primary School were also damaged and constituency councillor Ramana Muchavikwa provided an update saying schooling will not be interrupted as tents will be provided for that purpose. Advanced team is already busy doing the assessment. Uh, we made sure that we uh, allocated some tents uh, that we will use to host some of the classes by tomorrow morning. Uh, those will be arriving tomorrow, either today late or tomorrow morning. Uh, we also informed uh, the Red Cross of Namibia uh, about the general condition that we are going through or situation that we are going through. By Tuesday afternoon, NBC was informed that electricity at the town state hospital, police station, vocational center and businesses has been restored while the town's water reservoir is gradually filling up. Residential areas are being connected in phases. Faith Sankwasa, NBC News, Okakarara.